Jose Andres, thank you for coming to talk to us for Georgetown Village. You must now more than ever know uh, about how difficult it is to help people in this terrible time. These are, these are the, the worst of times. These are the best of times. Uh, I think we are going through something like it's gonna, in more ways than one, will bring many of us together. And in a way, I think more than ever, we, we are gonna be appreciating the little, the little things that sometimes we take for granted. But today we realize that every moment counts, every gesture of empathy counts, and everything we've been able to enjoy through our life, uh, it's something like now I don't think anybody ever again is gonna take for granted. So I look forward for the future and hopefully uh, being a much better community, much better uh, nation, uh, much better planet. More sharing, more laughter, more love. Yeah, shorter walls, longer tables. Uh, understanding the meaning of we the people when some some people are trying to make you believe it's about I the person without second guessing them. I think it's about understanding that probably these three words together by the founding fathers of this American dream that is still is many people every day working to make a more perfect union. And sometimes we need to realize that perfection is something like is the reason we are on planet Earth, to try to get better a little bit, but all of a sudden not trying to bring everything down because we are not as perfect as we wish. But today more than ever, uh, as an immigrant I am, a Spanish American, uh, I'm, I'm prouder than ever to be part of this country of ours. I've seen people stepping up in the middle of this pandemic, nurses and doctors and first responders. I've seen people through hurricanes. Right. Those moments, I see the spirit that the American people have to help each other, not about what political party you you are with or who you support, but use people being next to people and making sure that together we can keep moving forward. I look forward to the future of America because I see that the American spirit, if anything, uh, even if some people may think the contrary, is alive and will shine through. What uh, have you uh, been able to do lately uh, in this pandemic? Well, we are about to reach uh, already over 40 million meals served. Well, I'm very proud of uh, the teams, uh, of, especially of All Central Kitchen, but I can say the same of about every single NGO, uh, community service groups, neighborhood groups, uh, anybody that use step up to do something well by raising money well by calling somebody needed to help well by doing the shopping myself uh, i've been just one more citizen trying to do my part and obviously i've been blessed having this organization that has grown uh, in ways i never imagined even i call it world central kitchen i wouldn't think like we will be responding in lebanon uh, in venezuela in colombia in puerto rico in the bahamas all across the United States at the same time. Remember we began in Japan when we went to feed the people in the cruise ship that was the first big cruise ship with COVID cases on board. Who was going to tell me a group of cooks who was going to be there helping the Japanese government to feed people in need. Right. From there, obviously we didn't stop. So what we've been doing now is follow this pandemic, see where we are today, try to foresee the future making sure that we come with the smart solutions that we need the federal government next to the NGOs like ours to do it together. So I've been working obviously on the fields as much as I can, but also talking to our senators and congressmen coming up with the smart bills that can help Congress articulate uh, uh, help. So with the support hopefully of the White House uh, in partnership with FEMA and NGOs like ours, we can tackle many of the problems we face. We cannot end COVID-19 tomorrow, but if there is the will, we can end hunger tomorrow in America. It seems we cannot make this appear overnight, but these certain things that actually uh, we need to stop talking and start doing. We can end hunger right now, right here in this pandemic. We need everybody used to commit to uh, the things that need to happen 
to see that uh, becoming a reality. You have that experience helping people on a very large scale with all your disaster relief. And at the same time, you must see the people help on a small scale as they do, for example, in the Georgetown village. Obviously, it takes a village to take care of our community. Sometimes uh, people are thinking in the big way about the big issues that we face on planet Earth. Let's end world hunger and let's uh, change the environment uh, worldwide. And well, sometimes uh, you will not achieve that kind of global uh, uh, betterment uh, of whatever the issue is if that doesn't happen at the local uh, scale. That's why, why, why you guys do what this organization does is so important because right here at home, it shows you that with little gestures of empathy, taking care of the solutions with boots on the ground, feeding elderly that they cannot leave their homes because they put their lives in danger and taking care of our fellow citizens by doing the shopping for them or doing whatever they need. This is the way we can improve uh, the planet because if we don't have people like the ones we see every day in Georgetown taking care of the things that are really important, at the end we can dream of a better world, but until we don't have people like you, like them, showing up every day and taking care of the small issues, the small problems that at the end, in essence, is how we fix everything by boots on the ground and taking care of the little things. This way, yes, we can be changing the world for the better. Jose, thank you so much for what you have done, what you continue to do, and for spending time with us today. Thank you. Bye.